Welcome to my living room floor. I'm gonna sit here with you today on my living room floor, fold some laundry because um, we have no clean underwear left. Mochi and Wednesday may or may not join us for this video today. And I'm gonna walk you guys through things that you do and do not need. I'd love nothing more than for the comment section to be a place and a resource for people to share something that maybe they regret purchasing. Maybe it's a designer bag or maybe it's a $10 light that TikTok swore you needed. Whatever it is, drop it down below. All right, let's get into it. I'm coming in hot for you. Okay, the very first one is, it's controversial, let's be honest. Um, and it is the Dyson Era. You don't need it. I do not have one. I do not need one. Alexa, how much does a Dyson Airwrap cost? $699. So nobody needs to spend $600 on a Dyson Airwrap. All you need is a good old fashioned blow dryer and this bad boy. This is a baby bliss. Excuse me, baby bliss pro. I'm gonna link this in the description box down below. It creates the same effect for $40. Now, if you have money to blow, hey, more power to you, sister. And that, that goes for any of these things. If you're like, hey, listen, like, that's something that I want to splurge on by all means, but do you need it? Nah. Next up, coming in hot, you do not need the Jizu oil. It's a $60 hair oil. Just why? <laughs> like, <gasps> why? I've seen girls grow their hair super, super long, do like amazing hair oiling treatments with Miel's Rosemary hair oil that you can find at Target for like $8.99. Good old fashioned castor oil you can get on Amazon. I'm not saying that there isn't differences between quality and products. I've looked at the ingredients. I do believe that it is a high quality oil, but you could spend $60 on K18 hair treatments, Olaplex, bonding products that might be just as expensive, but would actually be worth the bang for the buck. You know what I'm saying? Next up, we have the Stanley Cup. I got the Stanley Cup. I bought into the hype. I will say that I do genuinely love my Stanley Cup but I also love this SM cup. I don't know what the brand is. Half the price works just the same. I actually have a very embarrassing story that I, I question if I'll even be able to tell and I might take it out of this video. I was really, really excited about the Stanley Cup. I was like, oh my gosh, this is gonna help me drink so much water. I went on Stanley Cup's website and they were completely sold out of the cups. And so one of my friends was like, hey, I just realized that like I have too many Stanley Cups and I wanna sell the Stanley Cup. And she posted it and I was like, oh my gosh, amazing. Like, you know, they're sold out. I want to get it. So I DM'd her and I'm like, hey, I'll Venmo you and come grab the cup. And just to clarify, she did absolutely nothing wrong. So I'm not putting her down at all. The blame is completely entirely on me. But I had no idea what the cups were selling for because it just said on the price on the website, sold out, sold out, sold out. So then when she said like, hey, I'm selling my Stanley Cup, 70 bucks, uh, DM me. I mean, um, Venmo me and I'll drop the cup off. So I went to go pick up the cup. I went to go pick up the cup and I paid her $70 for a Stanley cup. As I thought like, oh my gosh, like that must just be how much they cost. Supply and demand, baby. And I freaking took the bait. I took the bait. Next we have the Kosas brow gel. Now, if you have bought an air brow gel because of me, there's nothing wrong with it, okay? I've just learned better. So I tried the Selena Gomez uh, Rare Beauty brow gel. I'm wearing it today. These brows are locked into place, baby girl. It is hands down the best brow gel that I've ever used and I cannot recommend it enough. So I would skip the viral Kosas brow gel and I still have it. I will still use it. Like I'll still finish what I have. It's not bad. It's just that now there's better. You fold your underwear, like important question. This is the Wacol underwear. Great, great underwear. Um, are we folding underwear? Cause I don't, like I just have a drawer of undies. Next up we have eyeshadow palettes. I wanna say that I have spent more than I would like to admit on different eyeshadow palettes when at the end of the day, I brought it in here. The only one that I use and have bought twice now is the Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It is neutrals, gorgeous. The only shade I'll say I like never use is called burnt orange, but everything else I use. Point being, sure, have one, two, maybe three eyeshadow palettes, but like you don't need to buy a new eyeshadow palette every season. You really just don't, and I want better for you. Next up for me, one of the things I really regret buying is AirPods. I never use them. I prefer to use headphones. I feel like I wanted so badly to be like an AirPod girly, but 
at the end of the day, it's just not for me. Personal preference, but in my opinion, totally not worth it. Next up, we have beauty blenders. I've always purchased the dupe sponges. I never find the $20 beauty blender sponges to be worth the price. You don't need a $20 sponge. It's not any better than the Real Techniques $5 sponge or like it's like three for $9.99. It's no better than any of the other sponges. Don't lie to yourself. Now this one might be a hot take because I know everyone and their mom is obsessed with the Charlotte Tilbury blush, but you guys, not only is the applicator an absolute mess, at the end of the day, it doesn't blend, it's, it's unhygienic, and it's a mess. It's a hot mess. If it works for you, more power to you, sister, but if you're on the fence like, ooh, should I spend $42 on this liquid blush? No. Next, I wanna mention books because I have, I'm gonna show you. I'm blocking some of them, but this is kind of like a current, more up-to-date bookshelf of books I've really predominantly enjoyed reading in the past and then books that I have to read. All the books in between this notebook and on I have read and then the books past the notebook. Oh wait, I need to move this. I finished Carrie Soto a couple days ago. Okay, I think that's correct. Now everything from here are books on my TBR that I physically have. If you're an avid reader, I understand the urge to buy like the latest TikTok book or whatever. From someone who buys books with a bookshelf full of books that I have yet to read, I urge you to try to finish the books that you already have. You don't need to buy new books. Easier said than done. I will probably go buy a book tomorrow. But if you are not already aware, there is this thing called a library. And I got a library card when I moved. I am obsessed with my library. I use this app called Libby and it connects to my Kindle, which I love and adore so very much. Daniel got this for me for our third year wedding anniversary present. It is my favorite thing. Lay down. Lord have mercy. If you don't know, the library is associated with a free app called Libby that you can download onto your phone. And then you can scroll through books that your library has and put holds on them and they will be sent directly to your Kindle. I have read so many good books for free on my Kindle. Carrie Soto's Back, The Bodyguard by Catherine Center, The Younger Wife, The Hawthorne Legacy, The Housemaid's Secret. Long story short, you don't need any new books. Try to read the books you already have and utilize your local library. The last thing I wanna mention is just how unhealthy our society can be with consumerism where it feels like we have to have the newest Ugg boots, we have to have the newest Rare Beauty blush, we have to have the newest cup, like whatever it is, right? And in reality, we don't. Happiness at the end of the day comes with spending time with loved ones and family, things that you can't buy. All this to say, if you enjoyed some of the products I mentioned in this video, amazing. And if you were thinking about getting them and now you're like, oh, maybe I don't need them, amazing. <laughs> this video is in no way, shape or form meant to attack anyone. Just to be fun and share my own personal opinions on some products and be a friendly reminder that we don't need things to be happy and to be fulfilled in our life. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you for doing my laundry with me. I'm gonna go do another load. And I hope you have a fabulous weekend. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye, guys.